So our focus for today is once again, as you're going to see, isolate the variable. Today we're going to be working specifically with subtraction equations. So I look at this first example, 273 equals C minus 94. Now since I want to isolate the variable, I need to get C by itself. Now this is a negative 94, so what I'm going to do is add 94 to both sides. That's going to give me 0. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do 273 plus 94, and I'm just going to do a basic addition problem. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. Put the 6 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. I find that C equals 367. Let's move on to the next one. Number two, uh, three and five eighths equals x minus nine and two thirds. So once again, I have to isolate the variable. This is a minus nine and two thirds. So I'm going to add nine and two thirds, and that's what's going to give me zero. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to add nine and two thirds. I'm gonna find my common denominator when I think about eight and three, I think about 24, so I'm actually going to come over here and give myself a little more space. 3 and 5 eighths plus 9 and 2 thirds. When I think about 8 and 3, my common denominator, I believe, is going to be 24. That's going to be the best number to use. So this is going to become 3 and something over 24. This is going to become 9 and something over 24. I think, well, it's 8 times 3, that equals 24. So I'm going to do 5 times 3, and that's going to give me 15. I think it's 3 times 8, that gives me 24. So I'm going to do 2 times 8, and that's going to give me 16. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add 15 plus 16 is 31 over 24. 3 plus 9 is 12. And I think about that, and I think about, well, 31 over 24, that is technically in simplest form, because there's no other number besides 1 that can go into both 31 and 24. However, I notice that's an improper fraction, because my numerator 31 is bigger than my denominator 24. So I have to think about 31 over 24. And I actually just have to go and do that division problem, and I think, well, 24 can go into 31 one time. If I take 24 into 31 one time, I will have 7 left over. My denominator is going to stay 24, but I can't forget about the 12. The 12 is important here. i got to add that to the 1, which means my final answer that I get for x is x equals 13 and 7 over 24, and that's the process that I go through in that problem. Now I look at my final example. X minus 17 equals negative 9. You will get some negative numbers uh, today in your work, but the, the rule applies. I want to isolate the variable. So once again, I see X is my variable. I'm going to get X by itself by adding 17 to both sides. So I'm going to get plus 17 because it's a negative 17. That's what's going to get me to 0. Then I'm at negative 9 plus 17, and when I think about negative 9 plus 17, that's going to be 8. So I find that x equals 8. All right, have a good day, 6th grade. We'll talk to you later.